Hi, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to Finally Revealed. In this video, I want to talk to the employers out there, big or little employers, whether it's a large organization or a small one. If you need somebody to work for you, then you're going to have to have applicants. If you have applicants, you're going to have to have an interview. And there are certain questions in the U.S. that are off limits. You cannot ask them as an employer. You can consider this type of information if it's offered to you either in chit chat, in paper form, on a resume, or an application that is volunteered by the person, but you can't ask it directly. There are basic categories they coordinate and go along with federal laws on employment and other types of discrimination, which is the basis for the prohibition. Here are the, the topics. You might want to get a piece of paper, pause this, and, and then you can write them down. And next I'll go to the information that you need to get to fill the position and evaluate candidates for the position you have to fill and not run afoul of this law. Are you ready? Okay. First one is family plans. That goes to children, marital status, and pregnancy. The next one is age. The next one is health. Any persistent health conditions, any disabilities. The next one is religion. The next one is arrest records or any incidents of arrest by the police. The next one, nationality home or homeland. The next one is past alcoholism or past illegal drug use. And the next two are outstanding debt or credit history. And the final one is the type of military discharge. Okay. So those specific areas, those specific questions cannot be asked. Now you say, I have a position to fill. The person needs to be a certain age. They should know what position they're applying for. And you can ask them directly. This job requires someone who's 18 years old. This job requires someone who's at least 21 years old. Can, are you eligible for this job? Yes or no? Now, they, again, they might have the information on their graduation date, their date of birth, or some other indication on their resume or application that gives you this information. If they give you that information, then you can talk about it and you can cons or you can just consider it and you'll know it. Uh, but this is where they didn't offer it either formally or informally in chit chat and you are asking. So you can't ask it, but they can volunteer it and you can get around it in that way. Again, credit is something that you ha cannot pull someone's credit without authorization. You can ask for the authorization. If they don't give it to you, you can't, you can't check it. Military discharge, you can ask everything else about their service, their training, their length of service, where they served, what they did, and all of that. But you cannot ask about the particular type of discharge, whether honorable or dishonorable. You can, however, ask if there, if there are fiduciary components to the job that you are you are filling. In other words, the person has to be bonded by an insurance company for truthfulness and, and responsibility and honesty. They can't have a criminal record if they in some of those situations. So you can set out the different requirements for the job, including the bonding and those requirements, and ask them, are you eligible? Would you be able to be bonded? They don't need to tell you why they couldn't. But if they can't, then they need to tell you and then you can move on. On illegal drugs, they, you can ask them if they're on illegal drugs now, but you can't ask about it in the past. You cannot ask about religion, even in a roundabout way. If you have, are you working for a religious organization and they have some type of policy or a certain ceremony that a person might need certain qualifications for, you can ask about those qualifications and nationality or homeland that might apply if you're a government contractor or some other type of uh, you're working on some type of a project for a government contractor where u.s citizenship is required again you can say u.s citizenship is required for this are you eligible are you eligible to work in this country are you eligible to work in this field yes or no and then health goes to ada americans with disabilities act obvious situation or obvious observation of the person if they if they have to be a certain height but they can't be too short if it's you know for example some pilots and and things like that if there's a physical requirement on lifting you can say can you lift 50 pounds can you lift 10 pounds if that pertains to the job you can ask that 
but you can't ask overall, you know, do your arms work? Or and that's a ridiculous example, but in that, that way. Family plans, you cannot ask about children. If you're worried about travel and you say, but I need to know if they're gonna have a reliable babysitter, if they're gonna be off when kids are sick, can't ask it. You can say, we have these hourly requirements, this is our vacation time, we will have travel involved in this, jo in this job that I'm interviewing for. Can you assure me that that will work? And that should get you there. Just keep in mind that you have to keep the question tied to the job. Offer the information if it's in one of these sensitive areas and ask for the person to respond, yes or no. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Please subscribe to see our next videos or you can always follow us on Twitter or like us on Facebook. I'm Michelle, I'll see you next time.